Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what is most obviously very crucially important. Today on This Is Important... I'm gonna fist you and punch you in the eye, dude. (laughs) My ass is fine, and it's been fine for 38 years. Okay, I'm gonna go take a shit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Man, I want to have my hands up like this, but I got to do the board. Oh. Let's go. Let's oh. go. I wish we all had boards. Let's go. I would like to battle you. What I end up doing with the board is I just make the noises with my voice. Uh, I love it. Yeah. Make the music with your mouth, boy. I'd like to make the music with my mouth. Um, yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, for my favorite, uh. for my favorite <laughs> boards, which I like all of them. We'll make the music with your mouth, Biz. Let's uh, go. Yeah, a lot of people have been uh, pointing out the fact that you, Adam, are always claiming that everybody hates the board. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe it's you're projecting a bit. Dude, I've just gotten a lot of. Dude, I love the board. I don't. Oh, hate do the board. you? Yeah. Oh, do- but why do you think I'm always uh, doing it with my mouth? That I'm doing the board. Important. That shit's important. <laughs> Who's who? You okay, can't tell. Let's go. Who, is everyone <laughs> chunking right now, or just me? I think you're the main. Probably chunker. just you. You're yeah. probably the main chunking prankster. I think you're chunking. Are you okay? Dude, we can't have this. It's, We're, me. it's only three it's of us. Three, it's a three man crew. Oh, we can't no. be dipping out. In, I wanted to come in so hot. What? Mm. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Let's go. Let's go. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hardline it. Oh, man. This is bad. Is it, if it's down to me and Adam, this is going to be like oh. a weird. The best podcast yet? <laughs> <laughs> what, would, what would we really dive into? Just you and I. What were you going to say? Hey, but like, what were you? What were you? Uh, therapy talk. Um, uh, wow, you really liked walking down that path, didn't you? I did. It was enlightening for me. I was like, oh, I'm learning stuff. I'm like, <laughs> this is it, cool. Yeah, it's cool. Fuck. It's it's, yeah. it's no pressure. It's it's low pressure situation to talk about your feelings. Oh, now Durs is completely froze. Oh my god! So here we are. So here yeah. we are. Durs <laughs> Durs can't afford internet, and uh, and, see ya. and Kyle and Kyle had a hard time getting his seatbelt off in a van. Excuse me. Yeah. So. I can oh. afford internet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't. Let's go. Did someone say I couldn't? No, you're you're good to I go. S- I'm not sure who said that. I can. Okay. Ti okay. Nation. We maybe we're I can afford maybe internet. we're maybe. Maybe we're falling apart. I don't know, man. I don't know what's happening. Hey, it took took a hundred and <laughs> what is this? Three hundred and four. I think we're on four uh, at this yeah. point. Yeah, hundred and four. Uh, uh. Maybe the let maybe let's go is hundred and four apps for us to <laughs> is what we need to do. Let's let's go. Uh. Let's, let's actually leave. <laughs> Give me a hell uh, yeah. guys. We're cutting it off at one oh four. Uh-huh. So, are you, uh, Durs, are you coming to the little BBQ gathering that I'm gonna I'm gonna have on Sunday? Uh-oh. Are you not no a good way. friend? No <laughs> way! Oh man, let's Allegedly. not. Oh man, I can't. No. Uh, first and foremost, um, I'll be recovering from the Malibu triathlon that seems. I mean, oh, wow. when this airs, it'll be weeks ago. But like yes. uh, that's Saturday, and then my wife. Very funny movie. Uh, <laughs> Never. Is it's nice. My wife, she's leaving me. <laughs> she's leaving me for her Africa. She's going to <laughs> for a goddamn entire continent. <laughs> she's going to Kenya. Oh, she's going on safari. Kenya. Uh, yeah. Can you believe it? Damn. That's damn. That's sick. Kenya is. In uh, Africa. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> go. What's next? <laughs> it is in Africa. Can you spell it? Uh, yeah, Kenya's in okay. Africa. She's going what? to see the Checking. Great Migration. <laughs> she and her sister are taking uh, their mom to on safari for like her seventieth birthday. Or How something much? Like that. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool that your wife. She's. I've known so her sick. to go to Africa like maybe yes. three to five times since I've known her. Mm-hmm. Maybe oh, more. Way more. Maybe more. Uh, so cool. Up upwards of the teens. Holy moly. Upwards of the teens. That's so cool. I wish when I was uh in my 20s, I would have picked like one country mm-hmm. to be like, that's my shit. I'm gonna go there all the time and yep. like help mm-hmm. out and do stuff. Cause then mm-hmm. it's a lifelong thing that you always get to go somewhere. You always have to if if, if I may, mm-hmm. Africa's a continent. 
It's a yeah. continent. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. He's yeah, saying yeah, yeah. he would have picked a country. <laughs> I would have picked. I would have picked just one. I just wanted to just make sure. Some people shoot for continents. <laughs> Everyone. Knew. Some people shoot for countries. Some just go to a city and build a library. <laughs> She's been to several different countries there. I would just say B- Baltimore is my spot. Okay, I'm always gonna go. I'm gonna build a library in Baltimore. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but yes, I, I know what you mean. I, she, but she, she's been to several different countries in Africa. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. And what's her favorite country in the continent of Africa? Wow, let me, dude. Let me ask her. Yes, points. Should I give him points for that? <laughs> so so proud of myself yes, for points. that dumb question. <laughs> hmm. I, I don't know. I mean, she studied abroad in Senegal, so I think that's where she kind of... Um, that's uh, her. That's her home base. Can I say that yeah. every country na- uh, <laughs> name in Africa sounds like it? it would be a dope name? Hey, and we just had to cut out the rest of what Adam said, but we're back now. Uh, <laughs> no, it would say it would say it sounds like a dope name. Like if your name is Senegal, oh, yeah, you're, like a, if it's a person's yeah, name, a per- human's name, bro. Yeah. If my name was Congo, I would be the coolest bro in the world. Jesus, <laughs> if you were Congo Anderson, my God. <laughs> Congo Anderson, <laughs> WWE's very own. It's oh, my God. Yeah. Shit. oh my God, here comes Congo. Hey, dude, Congo Blake, Anderson. If your name was Congo Anderson, you would have an enormous <laughs> Twi- rap, rap career. <laughs> right. You would have an enormous rap career. It would Even just if you be didn't a TikTok. rap, you would just yeah. release albums with <laughs> nothing on it and people would buy it because that's the, that's the fucking coolest name. Is it too late? <laughs> what? To be Congo too Anderson? Too late to apologize. For you to be Congo, for is it is it too late to apologize? I don't want that for me. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want that for me. All right. I don't want that for me. I Dude, like. I went I to a. <laughs> this is my fiance Angola. I went to a uh, a Congo Anderson concert. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, did it slap? Did it smack? Uh, dude, it didn't smack it, it but smacked. it did slap. It slapped. But it blapped a bit. <laughs> it was blapping. There quite were a few blaps. Bit. And <laughs> towards the end, it was flapping. So it I was flapping. Failed. At first it was blapping, then it was flapping. <laughs> that shit flopped. Uh, I went to a One Republic concert the other day, guys. Uh, <laughs> never no! thought I would go to a One Republic uh, concert. What? Didn't even know. Did Don't you know, get like a on on traffic or something? Like the traffic just you had you veered into the thing. You're like, I guess we're going. I guess, honey, I don't know. We can't. Too late to apologize. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, How did I know that? <laughs> because I just sang it. That's why it reminded me. That's why it reminded me. Oh, okay. He was like teeing it up. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, Come on. <laughs> there's no teen. There, uh, d- there's, when I talk, there's no, I'm not thinking of anything before I say the words. <laughs> yeah, so there's no teen. I'm literally, uh, I literally I feel- say a thing and then I go, oh yeah, <laughs> that's, that's yeah. the thing I should talk about. <laughs> shook right. something loose. <laughs> it shook, it shook yeah. something loose. Mm-hmm. The old Snapchat. Uh. Uh, yeah, I went because Ryan Tedder, who is the lead singer of One Republic. Yes. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. yeah, we know. Do you guys so, knew that, of course? I didn't know that. <laughs> Dude, yeah. So, okay, Adam, okay. Adam, Adam, look look so. at my face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you talked uh, about him, right? Is, yeah, yeah. He so like, he recorded yeah. a song for the Pitch Perfect show I did in Germany. And mm. then, so he was in Charleston and was Sick. like, I'm coming through town. You guys should come. And Chloe was like, let's go. They have a ton of... You she would was know like, what? what? You wouldn't know. She was like... <laughs> She said, she, she was like, <laughs> Blake, let's Blake. go. Sorry. Oh uh, I'm sorry. I'm looking, also looking for One Republic songs. Dude, I do a lot on, okay? Yeah. Okay. True. Just do the one. Just do the one. No, well, uh, that's not the one at the top, but go ahead. Keep talking. So then, so we, we go to the One Republic concert. Uh, uh-huh. Is it too uh, to There was, it was wall to wall hits. I've never heard of this band in my That's life. What I'm saying. Didn't know them at all. I didn't know Ryan Tedder at mm-hmm. all. He's a super nice guy. Yeah. Dresses really cool. Mm. For sure. Uh, has swishy hair. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it was wall to wall hits. I was like, oh, this is theirs too. And, and by the way, if I may, wall to wall, how big is this wow. room? From the window to the wall. How big is this room that's wall to wall? It was a stadium. There was like 20,000 people there. Not literally, Adam. I mean, like, okay, it's wall to wall, but like, <laughs> Is it wall to wall a closet of hits? Like how many hits? Yeah, like you're saying from the window to the wall. What are we talking, brother? Till the sweat drips down your 
balls. So I'm not saying I'm like a huge One Republic <laughs> fan because it always it they all their music sounds like and even Ryan was saying this is like a lot of easy now. This is your friend you're talking about. Yeah, he was like, uh, it was like th we have. A, I'm like, do you ever get sick of playing? Like a certain song, because I wonder that a lot with with like rock stars and stuff. I'm right, like, right. Do you, have you ever just sick of playing your hit? Yeah. Where you're like, because as a stand up, you you tell the same jokes too much or the same story. You're like, Jesus Christ, I got to launch into yeah. this fucking thing again. Yeah, but yet you still do it. But oh. yeah, you do it uh, <laughs> totally. Yes. But yeah, you have to. People will get to. pissed if you don't. <laughs> People love that shit. But but uh, uh, rock stars, I'm like, do you? And he was like, Yes. I mean, honestly, sometimes, sometimes, like I like. They've like licensed it or like they like uh, Whole Foods played this song to death and now it's <laughs> synonymous with Whole Foods. And I'm like, right. well, that fucking sucks. It's the Whole Foods right. anthem. And now anytime you go to a Whole Foods, <laughs> hey. you know, I uh, my song is just fucking blasting. Everybody. I'm, like, I'm like, that sucks. Right. But he did a cool thing where he played like, they played like five or, or ten One Republic songs where I knew all of them. I was like, yes. Jesus Christ, this is a One Republic song. And oh, then damn. he stops and he he is also a prolific songwriter. He wrote a million songs for people and right, then for huh? 20 minutes just played 15 number one hit songs that he's written that's sick dude i love when people do that right because he owns the rights to them because he wrote them so then he played like it was him on the piano singing halo by the beyonce song yeah, yeah. it's just I like a song. slew of other hit songs that i was like oh shit this was a number one hit is that my favorite beyonce song halo which one is that hold up let me pull it's that it's got one that up. fucking beat to it uh, uh, i feel like i like halo. halo did he write to the left i like that one too halo, no halo, okay i'm gonna play halo. a bit of halo just to remember what it is i just sang it yeah you, you did well it. hold yeah. on i'm gonna skip ahead i don't know to let you in but Woo! i never really had a doubt yeah. oh. When Adam okay, is yeah. cycling uphill, yeah. he throws yeah. that shit on, and yeah. it's just like it's, it's powerful. Got this shit. It's I definitely got this. a it's Scrum. definitely a hit Scrum. hit the hit the hill with that one. You're gonna yeah. go right up that motherfucker. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. So he played that one. What else? Okay. Wall. The, yeah. Okay. The, this is not a closet. This is a bedroom. This is a bedroom. It was a lot, and, and a lot of the other songs. I don't know pop music all that well because my my knowledge of what, what do you know? Kid Cudi. Uh, I know. Uh, yeah, I know hip hop from the early 2000s. And you know that one Talking Heads song? Punk rock from the late 90s, early 2000s. And that's sort of. Arguably, <laughs> all the punk rock that you know is was pop music. Was pop. Yeah. yeah yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 But I, yes, I'm, yes, I'm talking. I don't know. I don't know. Like it was R&B. Like Liana Lewis. He said, yes, let's go. <laughs> and I didn't know who that was. He's like, this one, you might know her, Liana Lewis. Wait, uh, yeah, I wrote this song for her. That's like that graduation sounding song, right? He told the story and then they played the song. And then I knew all the songs. I just didn't know a lot of the people he was talking about. She was on like, not America's Got Talent. Or Idol, but she, I think she's from, she's a Simon Cowell discovery, I believe. Okay, wait, what did, What was the one he wrote? Bleeding Love? That's the joint. Is that the one he wrote? Bleeding Love. That's the joint. Bleeding Love. Anna is saying Bleeding Love. Okay, I'm going to play that. I'm going to play that. Yeah, that's the joint. You'll know. Wait, so this bro just dun, writes. Dun, 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 oh, yeah, this is the music for her. Should I just sing it? And the stadium exploded. Like, yeah, no, women were shit. lying around me. Just like, yes. Yeah, that's because you you were creepy. <laughs> They're like, I listened to your yeah, podcast. <laughs> Wait, so how does this that's dude tap into the mind of, like, females so hard? I think he's just a amazing songwriter. He just, But he's writing, like... Anth like power anthems for females. He says that he's able to when he because I was like sometimes when I am doing stand up, mm -hmm. you if I've go done in the bit, mind of the woman. I, I go in the mind of the woman. woman. <laughs> the no, mind like, of the woman. <laughs> if you've done something so many times, you're almost on autopilot. You try mm -hmm. not to be, but sometimes you're like I've told this story upwards of 300, 400 times. Right. I know <laughs> where the punchlines are. I know how to tell it. Yeah, uh, that you're thinking of other things. You're like right. in your head. You're speaking you're doing to an lists, audience, for sure. And mm -hmm. you're thinking. You're in your head. You're like making dinner plans. Yeah, right. you're planning things for the night. You're like, oh, I forgot to do this or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. I'm like, does that happen to you? He's like, it happens to me so much that sometimes I'll be writing other songs while I'm performing a song. Whoa. <laughs> 
And I'm like, oh, that's, that's a whole level. other level. <laughs> that's fucking cool. I like how he says that. He's he's just coolly telling oh you. Yeah, I'm how, actually a genius. Yeah, I'm yeah. actually um, like super talented. I am because I'm like, oh, I'm not writing other stand up bits. Right. Or, yeah. or thinking of like a great <laughs> idea for a movie. I'm literally right. going like, how much should I drink tonight? But it, right. <laughs> yeah. Are we really going to go I mean, after a cheeseburger? Are we yeah. getting right after this? Right. <laughs> how many pa double patties am I going to have? Two double patties? I, right. Should I go for the 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 single chunky one or the yeah. double smash? <laughs> what are we doing tonight? But even the thing that's tripping me out is he's not like writing from for himself. He knows he's writing for other people. But here's what? here's what I think, dude. Okay, you're the writer. Go ahead, Durs. Put us in the brain. Mm, mm, mm. This is what's fascinating. Is that like he's still a guy writing songs that women are singing. And if you mm -hmm. if you go back and you listen to like old songs about like a woman who's singing certain lyrics about how she misses her boyfriend or whatever, mm -hmm. and a guy wrote it. It's Do not, not come. It's, thank you. <laughs> I won't. It's not a guy writing for a woman. It's a guy writing for what he wants a woman, he wishes a woman was thinking or saying. Ah, interesting. Ah. <laughs> well, a lot of this, in his defense, a lot of these songs he's writing with them. So he, okay. it, right. they'll go. He'll go to their studio. <laughs> or they'll come to him, whatever the case may be. And then th they'll be like, he wrote an Adele song, and I guess he told the story on stage that she was like, uh, and I'm blanking on the name of it, but she was sure. just like over it, and and she. D and and he's like, so he, over it. That's it. Over it. Yeah, is, is, essentially, it. yes. He's like, okay, <laughs> let's write that song. You're like, over it. Or I, I, I'm totally blanking on the, the name of the song. Whatever. But, yeah, but I get it. But yeah. He, and then he really like is just like, okay, let's write that song. And then they create the song together. Right. So she's like, I don't feel great. I've got IBS. Yes. I. I, I, B, B, S. S. I, 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 it's I, a whole, B, S. It's a whole bunch okay. of B.S. Okay. Rumor has it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a bunch of B.S. It was Rumor Has It, the Adele song, Blake. You might rumor cue, has it. Wow. You might want to cue up Adele, Rumor Has It. Yeah. Okay, okay. She was like, oh, well, Rumor Has It that I did this. Rumor Has It that I did that. I didn't do any of this, but Rumor Has It. And then he was like, wait. Wait, how, shut up. <laughs> shut up real quick. How shut annoying up, is that to be in shut the room up. with that guy, though? Shut up shut real up. quick. Shut Rumor up. has it. Shut up. <laughs> That's okay. it. Stop talking. Uh, can shut you imagine real quick? calling your friend who's a songwriter and being like, yeah, um, last night my, my dad, he... Uh, shut he up. Found, he, he got hit. He <laughs> the song is my dad. Stepped into an, an empty <laughs> elevator shaft and he's like... Uh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. And then he's just like, <laughs> falling. <laughs> what? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Dude, dude, are you writing a song about my dad falling in an elevator shaft? <laughs> Bro, that's like the greatest scene from Extras. Remember when it's David Bowie? Yes. My love's going down the shaft. <laughs> yes. Oh, dude. Pudgy little fat man. Right. It is amazing. <laughs> we'll post that for Okay, sure. wait. I'm going to play a little bit of Rumor Has It. Thank you. Let's mm. see. Oh, ow, Jesus. Ow. Who's at ow. the door? Someone. Let her in. You know this shit. Let her Rumor in. Rumor Has It. I don't. Wow. We might be running out of That's our 15 way. seconds. She ain't real. Damn, I can't say mm. I know that one. <laughs> mm. You you know it when it hits the the hook. Rumor has it. Yeah. Damn, I real I just played all the intros and he has some long intros. So uh, yeah, he's That's, taking them on a ride. Yeah. Well, what was crazy is when he did these songs. <laughs> when he did these songs, they they all sounded like a One Republic song. Right. They all say, sure. I mean, of course, right. he's the lead singer for One Republic, so it makes sense. But they all, it, it took like a, uh, that female voice or that other artist voice and mm. put their stank on it that made mm -hmm. it feel totally different. Yeah. Like when he sang Beyonce, it sure as hell didn't seem like a Beyonce like song. Her Halo. Yeah. It right. felt but like she a made totally different own. song. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. So here's his list. Uh, that he's written songs for Adele, okay, Beyonce, I'm shit. Leona Lewis, <laughs> Miley Cyrus, Ed Sheeran, that? Jonas Bros, Jennifer Lopez, Ooh. Camila Cabello, Lady Gaga, Maroon Five, blah 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 blah. It keeps going. Taylor Swift, Katy Perry. I mean, all, every person you named is the fattest paycheck as well. Oh my God, this dude has yes. Paul McCartney. Right, and that isn't that kind of part of it where Paul McCartney. It's yeah. like, hey man. 
you wrote this smash hit for this mm -hmm. person, so we're going to give you one for that person. Like, and then if you, it's like a batting average. If you kill it enough, you just keep getting opportunities, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's I right. Just, I just wish he would just. If you make a huge hit for Taylor Swift, then all of a sudden Ariana Grande is like, but also me, write one for me too. Right, I'll take one. I know. I just kind of wish he would reach back a little bit, like to some smaller artists, like get like Lil Xan and like just drop a real. <laughs> Real banger on him and just put him in a. Top I don't know of if that's chart. necessarily his lane, but uh, it could be. All you need is a song from this, bro. Blake, do you want do you want the podcast to yourself for a moment to kind of make that plea? Yeah. Or? Hey, Blake, should we turn the headsets off and you? What was what was this guy's name? Ryan Tedder. Tedder. Ryan Tedder. Hey, if you guys could just turn it down. Okay. Okay. Hey, we're signing off so you could talk yeah. directly to Ryan Tedder. Ryan Tedder. <clears throat> hey, what's up, dude? Man, this is Blake from TII. Um, I just saw this documentary called American Rap Star, and I saw a little Zan there, and you know, it looks like he he needs a hit. He needs a hit right now. So if you could just write him a big banger and get him to the top of the charts, mm -hmm. I think the whole community would be very very excited for that so thank you everybody can turn up now oh we're back yeah cool we're back okay we're yeah. back how'd that go yeah hmm. oh, not, not great not great <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right i mean wasn't that the whole thing with that what the fox say song is that like that was some huge producer and then oh. it was basically like what the fox say yeah yeah kids love it kids they love were it. like it was some talk show in sweden or something they were like do you think we could make a pop song about almost nothing and they were like sure and then they did it and it became like a smash who wrote I, that though i did not know i think that it was some story, big that's, producer yeah. oh really and they did it as uh, on a lark which is a very <laughs> fun word to use uh, yeah are you having a became, lark it like it actually like are did the thing it, that they were joking about oh well see it's that yeah. easy it's not i guess hard. so yeah he wrote a song for black pink that is that korean all-girl uh band yeah, they're they're a super big K-pop band. So they, I was on nice. some talk show. I think it was like Corden or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, or no, I think it was the Tonight Show. I don't know. Uh, one of those talk shows. Okay, and I was, go I was off. one of the right. I was one of the guests. <laughs> Doesn't even know. Yeah, one of them. They were the musical guest. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so the musical That's guest huge. is is on a little later. So I'm up first, and my tweet. I was like just looking at Twitter. While it was on, not not even watching, I was like out or something, mm -hmm. and my Twitter Blackout. was exploding <laughs> with hate of like, who the fuck is this guy? Get him off the stage! We're ready for Blackpink, and I've never heard Goodbye. of Blackpink before in my life. Wow. And then yeah. that's when I I tuned in and to see, you don't want those K-pop groups, uh, their fan base to turn on you because they they have right. armies they have armies like the bts army true true armies yeah like they will come for you hard they will come mm. for you hard they're but coming hard do black not come <laughs> black pink i think kind of do not come Bla black pink eye they black pink eye is our band <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's when you get black. punched in the eye yeah. and do <laughs> pink eye and it's black and then someone farts in your also in your eye <laughs> Right. It's when you get punched in the eye with somebody who's been punching poo all day. <laughs> right. Dang, yeah, no, that's that's when you get someone punches you in the eye and then they pull their pants down, presses their asshole directly against that eye, uh -huh. and then lets one rip. That's hey, can I do my version? Guy. Can I do my version? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yes, you yes, you may. They they, they fist you okay. and then they punch you right in the oh. eye. Oh, that's like, that's that a black pink true. eye. That's a black pink eye. <laughs> yeah. I'm going like, to fist you and punch you in the eye, dude. <laughs> yeah. That ain't happening. <laughs> black pink is a, is a song. I wonder where how they came up with that name. Uh, oh. I never I, thought of that. Yeah, yes. like I wonder what, th if they were like, this is two colors, our two favorite colors, mm -hmm. it'll... It'll go with everything. Yeah. We can sell the merch because these bands are like put together. They're, you know, right, it's, yeah. it's like how the boy bands in the early 2000s, the Backstreet Boys and the mm -hmm. NSYNCs in yeah. the 98 Degrees. Wait, wait, what? And other bands. <laughs> yeah, dude. They weren't friends before they were in a band. <laughs> yeah. That cool, that cool yeah, husky just... pervert dude was like, I'm going to put you in a band together. Yeah, the boys. fact that I haven't done his biopic yet, I don't. 
Pizza Pizza. <laughs> what yeah. is his what was name? his name? Ron Perlman, right? I don't know. This is all allegedly. Ron Perlman. Is that Ron, Ron Perlman? Perlman? That's Hellboy. That's Hellboy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's something Wait, like that. It's something like that. It's like uh, Larry Perlman. <laughs> dude, when I was in uh, Japan, there was a, a, a billboard for some like uh, all boy group. I think it was an all, all boy like boy band. Uh -huh. uh, and their name was Black Monsters. <laughs> Frick, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're not gonna travel that well. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna Black pop off. Wow! All right. I mean, I la I was laughing so hard I was crying in the street. It was that, that's crazy. Although, like, what if they got embraced? If they got embraced, it's like fuck yeah, yeah. good. I'm gonna. They are the be interesting. Sure. <laughs> okay. You never um, know, man. Rumor has it how many people are in Blackpink. Because I know Dude, there's BTS like 15 is like of them. 12, right? No, no, no. Blackpink, there's a, it's a goddamn squad, is it not? Or am I, am I mixing <laughs> wait, up my wait, Korean but girl? Isn't BTS, isn't BTS many, many dudes? It's, I think it's like six. No, no, no. It's way hey, more than that. No. Yes. The, okay, who are the biggest groups? Wu-Tang Clan is pretty huge. That's a pretty big one. Uh, okay. Are, oh, oh, so you're talking you're talking groups from 30 years ago, uh, Adam. So right now we're gonna do biggest groups. Well, I'm trying to think of like Adam. There's four members in Blackpink. Adam. <laughs> Is yeah, it really? What the hell? You guys are like shouting out big numbers. I'm saying probably the largest group. As far oh, as music goes, is Wu Tang Clan, right? It's like thirteen dudes. Well, okay, hang on, hang. I, well, well, how many people are in? Um, BTS has seven, four members in Blackpink. What's that Canadian band? What's the Canadian band? Uh, uh, Bare Naked, Naked Ladies. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> there was this one band called the BTS has seven, seven. Yeah, yes. that's a lot. That's a um, lot. That's yeah. a lot. Wait, but the that's the fucking what's the Canadian fucking band? Bieber. The what? Bieber. Rush? That's three people. Band. The the guy the fucking honkies with the Arcade the, Fire. Uh, Arcade Fire, thank you. <laughs> How many people are on stage at Arcade Fire? I'm pissed concert? now. There's a lot. <laughs> right? That's got it. They have a squad. Oh yeah. And and they're like they're, there's one guy with a trombone, the other guy's just banging trash can lids together. Right. There's one person just some just dancing around. <laughs> Is everyone getting paid? Like oh, yeah. to tour with that yeah, amount bucks. of people where a, a guy's just like he's just rubbing sticks together and starting a fire on the side of the stage. Wait, our producer's saying there's 16 people in Arcade Fire? Are we telling jokes Burn. back there? We need the facts. Bully! I'm seeing, Dude. she goes, 16 people, I think. We're not paying you to think. We need hard facts. <laughs> we can think, too. We need hard facts. Did you guys hear the end of our last podcast where it was like a robot saying, actually, the actress from Sopranos is not John Turturro's sister. It's his cousin. I was like, what? Oh, really? I did not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we were corrected after the fact? Yeah, we were. Yeah, I was like, who If we're going to, that's opening the can of worms. If you're going to start correcting us. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Hey. Allegedly, <laughs> we just gotta. Never mind. Six we gotta people say it more in Arcade. Arcade fire. <laughs> they have sixteen people in total who've been involved over time. Okay, okay. so the six people. Okay. But then I, because I've seen them in concert, like at festivals and stuff, mm -hmm. two or three times now. There's mm -hmm. always ten to fifteen people on that stage. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, just doing, doing weird random shit. shit. Do you I like mean, them, Adam? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, they're great. I don't drive around listening uh -oh. to them, but they're great uh, at a festival. Who do you drive around listening to? <laughs> I uh, like that that's like the, I mean, I don't drive around listening to them, but like. Uh, <laughs> well, no, they're great at a festival. Their sound is so huge that sure, that, right. that it does feel yeah, like sweeping. if you're listening to it with 100,000 other people like we did yeah. at Bonnaroo, I'm like, yeah. this is it works. pretty special. This is yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, but no, and they're not they're not my Rude. Uh I did I did just find a new band. I bet Blake knows about them. No huh. pressure. The a new punk band. Oh yeah. Wait, what oh what? yeah. Oh yeah, the bitch. No pressure. Who the hell is no pressure? I don't know. I might have to look into that. Check them out. They're good. Yeah. They're they're pop punky. Uh, uh Ron Perlman put them together. <laughs> <laughs> Hellboy oh himself uh, put this band together. Hey, you guys are gonna be a band now. Uh, no, they're re they're really good. Check them out. I will say that the I do have a soft spot in my heart for Arcade Fire because if you remember, yeah. like Sean Clements always brought in that. W we had a very select few of records we would play in the Workaholics mm. writers room, 
And I think the the Arcade Fire album, The Suburbs, came out while we were writing Some Season. That is that is correct. And we would listen to that shit so... You know, if you listen to a record enough, even if you don't initially like it, it starts to just click in your head like, oh, okay, yeah. Well, it takes you back to a certain time. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you're transported. Like, I know exactly what you're talking about, and I'm, I'm sitting on that shitty chair that smelled like farts. <laughs> Uh, that was duct tape <laughs> right. together in the workaholics writers room. It right. transports me back there. I'm sitting yes, there. Sir. What song is on the suburbs? I'm sitting there watching a a guy get head uh, from a mother of four uh, in a parked car in the parking lot while right. sitting in the workaholics writers room. Oh yeah, we did we did see that. we did see that. Yeah, we did see a couple times. That yeah. was great. You, you, that I would feel happen. Like you're adding some facts to it, but we uh, I think that's fun. I feel like. Sean and Kevin Etten had very different musical tastes from what I had. They liked like the National and they liked um, Arcade Fire, which is kind of like white dad rock. But mm -hmm. I, I started to get an ear for it because we would just listen to it every day. And I was like, hey, oh, Blake. Yeah. You're a white dad. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, where was I? Sorry, I was <laughs> I was just teetering at that you, point. Yeah. Hey, uh. <laughs> I had <laughs> cannot listen to the national. Um where where was I when this was happening? Okay, go off. Go off, King. You were in the room, brother. Trust me. Is the national the guy who's like he basically sounds like the crash test dummies? A little bit. Okay, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Not for me. I don't know. Uh, see, <laughs> Kevin was always He's like, you like the national to me. And I think I was just trying to be cool. So I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I know a national song. They were a hot, hot band in 2010. If you went to a wood fire pizza, a wood fire <laughs> oven pizza place in 2010, the national was playing. <laughs> Thank you, God. If you went to, if you've been to a brewery pizza, pizza. in the year 2011, you Dude. are listening to the National. If yeah. you were drinking an IPA with a funny name in the 2010s, you might be listening to the National. Here's your sign. If you have a haircut that's buzzed on the sides but kind of long on the top like a weird Nazi, but you're not, you might listen to the National. If you Get look like you are in the Peaky Blinders drinking a, a man. Maple brown stout. You might be at the national. If you Get got, it done. if you got multiple selections of beard oil in your in your bathroom cupboard, you might listen to if the national. If your kid is named after a country in Africa, <laughs> if, if your child is named Congo Anderson, you might be listening to the national. If you went axe throwing multiple times and bought your own and never used it, you might listen to the national. <laughs> Blake, hit us with the, the national up. song. I don't. I no. don't know if I know. Uh, uh, if you've got red wing <laughs> boots that are crispy clean and you keep them nice and tidy, you might listen to the National. If your favorite baseball team is the Montreal Expos, you might listen to the National. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a baseball hat made out of Japanese <laughs> denim, you might listen to the National. <laughs> Damn, okay. Well, uh, this one's from 2012. <laughs> if you've washed your body with charcoal... <laughs> <laughs> if more than three items in your house have charcoal. <laughs> yeah, if you use charcoal toothpaste, you might listen to the national. You might listen to the national. <laughs> charcoal lemonade, I have charcoal toothpaste, I have charcoal soap. <laughs> if you bought a t-shirt that has the name of a pretend gas station on it, you might listen to the national. <laughs> okay, let's see what this one is. 2013, break us off. <laughs> Mm. All these songs I'm playing today have slow start. If you wore a bolo tie to work, bro, Sean Clements is writing up the funniest script you've ever read to this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, writing a workaholics episode where. Uh, <laughs> Dang, I can't even go into his voice. Can I skip ahead? Let's Anna, skip ahead. just let us have it. <laughs> oh, oh no. yeah. It's that. It's that driving bass drum. I feel like they. Bro, I fuck with it. 
<laughs> they all sound like they like they want to be Bruce Springsteen right. so badly. It's adjacent. Right. It's adjacent. Yeah. This is a song where white dads are holding up their kid and looking at him like, you can be anything you want to be. And that song is playing, you know? <laughs> Bro, if you work hard turn, in this country, turn it, the burners down, will, bro. We fucks with the national, bro. <laughs> the key, the key is yours. I will give you my red wing boots and old Carhartt work jacket, <laughs> right? And you might listen to the national. Mm -hmm. Turn the burners down, bro. We fuck with the national. <laughs> Bullet. Well, I don't they know. helped I us. So like is there the, music like that? That doesn't. That's not popular anymore no it was a time it was a it was 2010 11 13 well i went to uh the the black keys concert of a couple weeks ago and i i saw our our boys pat and dan mm -hmm. well i don't know if pat's our boy anymore man come on man he's into hot water <laughs> hot hot no no his wife is his wife hit him uh Oh, okay. Yeah. That's Alleg so, allegedly. allegedly. Uh, I, think yeah, I just read that they're reconciling. Allegedly. They're Look good. at this. Look at our little our little gossip music podcast. I like yeah. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sipping tea. Welcome to Bitch Fork. <laughs> With the boys three. Hey, bro. <laughs> Bitch Fork. <laughs> Where you going for the points? Oh, I can't. It's taking too long. Uh, bitch. Yes, yeah, points. Well, we just bitch about music. <laughs> yeah, uh, we just bitch about music. <laughs> so I saw our guys there, but admittedly, yeah. the crowd was like I was one of the younger people there. I think, I think For that sure. style of music had its heyday ten years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, rock and and <laughs> rock music, and then now no one gives a shit about it. It's because I love the Black Keys. I'm I'm a big fan, but it like. I feel like th that style has just, it's not caught on with the Yuta. <laughs> While One Republic, who's been around forever, mm -hmm. uh, was all teenage girls. That's why I was there. <laughs> oh, <man>. boy. <laughs> Bitch, for <laughs> Bitch. What um, the hell? <laughs> I yeah, don't know I, if this episode's airing. <laughs> I do listen to, uh, I do listen to old music with like bands, and I'm like, is there just no appeal to being in a band for youngsters? Like, do you no. know what I'm saying? Like, the idea of, like, getting together with your friends and doing something together, is that over? Is that the whole thing where it's like, because in a band there's conflict, right? Mm -hmm. Where you're like, hey, man, I'm going to do this bass. And people have to be like, actually, we don't love that. Let's go with something else. Sure. There's conflict. Our kids just like not down for conflict, and they're like, "Skip that." They're 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 conflict free. I'm gonna be in my lab by myself, playing all the instruments on a computer, and you can't tell me what to do because I'm gonna do it all by myself. Well, no yeah. one can tell me what to do because I'm doing it all my own. You know, I mean, we're we're a band as well. There's politics to it. We yeah, are it's a band. Hard. Shut up, it's bitch. hard. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to be. Hey, Blake, shut up. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> uh, shut up, real quick. <laughs> it is hard, but we come from a different. We come I'm from a different time now. where we can say, shut up, bitch. Yeah, where we could just say, hey, I love what you're saying, but shut up real quick. Shut yeah. up. What you have to realize. I don't have to do anything, but go ahead. Is that everybody, hey, shut up, bitch. What you have to realize <laughs> is with all that fighting, everybody who comes together is bringing something to the band or the group. And as soon as you take that person away, as except Kyle, <laughs> except for Kyle, as you can see, we're running and gunning without him. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Pretty he funny. had a hard time getting that seatbelt off, so uh, yeah, 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 he's still yeah. he's still in that van somewhere. Burn! Oh no, man! But is that is that part of it? Like what? Or or are people just like, hey man, I'm gonna get famous on my own and not split the check, which is something we were always told. Where it's like, man, sketch groups are tough to like get people paid because if there's six of you in this thing like keeping them alive yeah mate i i bet it i bet that's part of the equation like it's way smarter to just like blow up on your own all you have to do is f face your camera forward and do it or whatever or like if you're in a band you have all the i know but like isn't it more fun like kicking it i uh, i would say when we were first coming up and woof, woof, woof. and people woof. were you know were <laughs> Being like, wow, it's so cool that you guys uh, have, have a show, or like are blowing up. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, the coolest part about it was, is it wasn't, we weren't by ourselves. Like, yeah. we got to experience it together. Like, right. that's what's so cool about being yeah. in a band 
is like, hopefully those guys are some of your very best friends. Yeah. And then you get to experience this amazing, right. like life changing event right. that m usually as an adult, you don't get to experience that with a group of friends. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking way cool. It was the best. It was so, how much fun was it when we all went and bought cars and then we showed up to the workaholics office and Hilarious. in our new cars, it was <laughs> The most fun. The fact that yeah. we could go to nice dinners together. Right. And like actually have a good time and not be like freaking out about if someone ordered an extra <laughs> an extra cob salad or whatever right. the fuck. But even even going to like say like because before all this, if somebody ordered a cob salad, <laughs> dude, it's like, wait, 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 wait. I'm walking. <laughs> he would well, make even a like scene. Even like going to like South by Southwest. No, I was always poor with money. I was I was always throwing that shit away. <laughs> even <laughs> <laughs> right. Who even even going salads? to <laughs> it's a pitch. It's a pitch. Even going to the South by Southwest with each other before like it yeah. premiere. Like at least we're rolling as a friend group. It's so sick that we have all these like collective memories. Because even as I start to yeah, Co collective soul. Cause, cause I forgot about all of it. I need yeah, you guys to remind cool. me about cool shit. <laughs> I know, dude. It's cool when you guys remind me. We really have to keep churning it up because dude, I'll be like, Emma's always like, "Wait, when did you go to so and so?" I'm like, I don't remember. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we started drinking in the airport <laughs> on the way to the place, and Goodbye. then I just woke up back in my own bed somehow. <laughs> That I mean, that happened quite a bit. Uh, yeah, man. What, what is cool? I blame scene Isaac. I blame Isaac. Is is that like it was 2010 that we started to do stuff, and then 2011 was when the show came out, and then it was just off to the races from there on. That's over the racist. <laughs> Did you say it's off to the racist? <laughs> we that's yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Okay, we're gonna talk uh, to you. Okay, we're back. We just talked to Adam. Yes, Congo Anderson. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, it was it was that that's when we you know huh? we got it we yeah. were off to the races and <laughs> we really got to do all this fucking cool shit mm -hmm. and you uh I forgot about so much of it it's so nice to see like the 10 year like this happened to you 10 years ago today like a decade ago and you were like holy shit that was south by southwest what do you what is that what do you mean you, this happened to you 10 years ago today? Like all the old Facebook photos and things uh, where you get the reminders or in your own camera reel on your phone. Have you lost your mind? No. Have you ever lost a phone, Adam? No. See, that's fucking well, not, cool, I mean, not dude. forever. Yeah. Like I've lost a couple phones in my life and like I a lot that, of you? my <laughs> memories are <laughs> in yeah. those photos. So like I you're definitely You're not connected to the cloud? You you don't you don't shoot your shit up? No, I was really like not trying to hit the cloud. I was a little uh like thought they were like stealing my shit or something. Okay. But like so there's like 2 years that I You thought you're about to be in the fabric. <laughs> I thought the fabric <laughs> was coming for me, bro. <laughs> Yo, did you see Blake Anderson's fattening? Dude, I would love to see Blake's. Uh, it's just oh him jerking God. off in a mirror or something. Like, what? Uh, aye, aye, it's, aye. it's just him checking out his own butthole in a mirror. Huh. Being like, what does Dude. it look like? <laughs> I'm going to come. I still what do does that. Look like? <laughs> what does it look like? Still the same. What does it look like? Yeah, still the same. Huh. Hey, here's a question. When you get older. Yeah, kind of a mess. Kind of a mess. I get older, butthole stays. <laughs> when you get older, does your butthole get more wrinkly? <laughs> ah, that's a great question. I think the butthole is the one thing. Maybe hey. we need to start extracting butthole serum and putting it yeah. on the corner of our eyes to make what, the wrinkles. And what to you is butthole serum? <laughs> Anal gland serum. <laughs> butthole serum, just jam a needle. <laughs> Uh, it took about forty minutes, but we got we got to wrinkly buttholes, which mm -hmm. which I'm hyped about. Which I'm super hyped. <laughs> and so, do we think if as you age, your butthole gets more wrinkly, or is it the exact same? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, no, no. It does. It does for sure. Because the more, <laughs> it's absolutely, no, absolutely not. <laughs> no, Blake. Of course it does. It's the science. more, the more you shit. <laughs> The more wrinkles it. form, it's like Loose it's like the more you hole. raise your eyebrows <laughs> mm -hmm. through your you, you're gonna get more forehead wrinkles and shit. It's right. science. So the uh, more you're 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 no, shitting. Blake is notoriously shitting once a week though. <laughs> yeah, Blake. No, it's uh, you haven't. I can see Blake. Where you were like Zip scared it. of shitting as a kid. 
Were you scared of shitting? I could see that for you. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. No, I was not. No, I was not. No, I was not. He just, he wasn't scared of it. He just couldn't do it because he eating fucking plain hot dogs. <laughs> Fuck off, bro. Don't treat me like Kyle. This ain't me, bro. <laughs> so much cheese. <laughs> this dude's just eating blocks I ain't going nowhere, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bro. Uh, I shit. Oh no, actually, God. I was kind of scared of shit. I thought, I thought <laughs> you were. <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God. I, I Wait, now that, that I started case. to think yeah. about it. No, my thing wasn't that I was scared. Okay. okay. My thing was that I didn't want to like leave whatever situation Evidence. I was. Do- no, whatever we were <laughs> right. playing, I like didn't. I was like, oh shit, I have to shit. But we're playing kick the can or we're playing Nintendo. Like I'm not going to shit. Well, that's every kid. Every kid's yeah, like, well, I'm sure. in the middle of something. And then suddenly they're like, pause it. And they fucking hightail it to the toilet. Oh, I gotta shit my pants. Yeah, but no, dude, I did it a lot. So, Blake, uh, if we are at a, will you shit in a porta potty or will you shit in a gross bar bathroom if you have to go? Okay, well, now you're talking to like an older me. I was talking to me as a as a kid. I feel like I knew you to be a tentative shitter. Mm. I well, Adam, that's why I love being in a group with you. I love being mm-hmm. a part of your band, band brother. Yes. Right, because yeah. when I met you, this is one of the perks of being in a band. <laughs> <laughs> because when you meet people who have completely different, like, uh, uh, uh buttholes, completely different philosophies We're back. on life. <laughs> I'm going to come. Completely different philosophies. Like, Adam, you know, like, was like, what? I don't give a fuck. I'll go tell. <laughs> philosophies. <laughs> He's what? like, dude, like, Adam doesn't give a shit. He'll shit anywhere. Anyway. I, I, you know, does not well matter. Documented. True. <laughs> True. Like, he, I don't even think yes. he lays down toilet paper on the seat. Does oh, not matter. Really? He just goes in, no. down, sits That's down. That's what your ass is for. <laughs> I wipe it Wait. down. If there's piss on it, I'll, I'll take some toilet paper and wipe the piss off. I'm not going to fucking butthole. spend all that time to, I'm going to sit, I'm going to shit, I'm, I'm going to stand up and wipe what? my ass. And you then when I shower, I will shower. I'll shower later. And get the grossness off my ass. Adam, 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 out of 100 times where you've sat down with no toilet paper and taken a shit, mm-hmm. how many of those times did you take a shower within the hour? No, not within the hour. When I go, when I'm taking a shower. Yeah. Later. Dude, the human skin the next day. Human yeah. skin can take a <laughs> So you so well, then you would just like be with <laughs> toilet but for hours. Yeah, and guess and guess what? My ass is fine and it's been fine for 38 years. I don't know. No. <laughs> I've got a great ass. <laughs> um dude, gnarly. First of all, great you, ass. yes. Not gnarly. Not gnarly. I guarantee you I bet it's a 50-50 split. This is like stand-up wipers. I truly feel most people don't do that. No, your whole bathroom routine is fucked, bro, but go ahead. Uh, yeah, I know. You stand to wipe. I mean, I, hey, I'll say it. If, I, if I'm in a porta john or a porta potty and it's fucking filthy. Now we're dropping brand names. <laughs> if I'm in a, uh, a, a Andy Gump. Gump, Andy Gump, Andy Gump, <laughs> Andy Gump, Porto Gump. Oh, if if I'm in a sh- like it's absolutely filthy, <laughs> then I'll do something. But nine times out of ten, or even nine point eight times out of ten, I'm not doing that. I will. Hey, so hey, how about this? Have you ever sat down directly on a seat right after someone else got up and it's still warm? I love it. <laughs> Do you feel like a connection? I that feel guy, connected like, to that person. Right. I love it. Do you look that person in the face as they uh, exit and you enter dude, and kind of Dude, nod, that's our hot tub time machine. That's our hot tub time machine. <laughs> who's out? Who's us? Who's our on this situation? No, this is we're writing this movie. That's uh-huh. how you get. Yeah, you you're able to uh, get all of their memories if you sit down right. in their hot hot butt to butt contact. I'll oh, let you start then, breaking like, that one, dude. And then like they're like. They the bad guys start to realize that's what you're doing, so you're like go, trying to get there before it cools down, and they're like holding you back. And then, uh-huh. but Adam puts his big ass on the seat. It writes the, itself. <laughs> yes, it's like Jumper. I've never is Jumper a movie? It's like Jumper is Jumper a movie. <laughs> Jumper's a movie. It's also a song. I wish you would. <laughs> now that's an anthem. Hey, by the way, hey dude. Saw them in wall to wall. (laughs) Saw them in Bonnaroo. 
they did have more hits than I thought they did. The guy, who, who is that? It. Semisonic? That's right, right? No. no or Third, third Eye Blind. It's oh, the three hey, bands you know, I'm, you asshole. <laughs> I'm so sorry to offend you guys. He was wearing a leather Bitch, kilt. Bitch fork. <laughs> <laughs> he wore a leather kilt? What a savage, bro. I love that. Yeah, he, he was ready to clean the fuck up. Hey, is this a, is this a, is this a strong, what are they called? A something take? Then, mm. wow, wow, dude, I, what is he yeah. about to unleash on us? <laughs> I like Third Eye Blind more than I like Arcade Fire. No, that's not. Yeah, that's, that's no, that is a hot take for sure. The hot take. Thank you. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Like, I think those three songs that they have. Oh, Blake, you don't think in today's day and age that it's not a hot take to like Third Eye Blind more than Arcade Fire? That is for sure a in this day and age hot. I'm going to tell you that Hot toilet seat take. I like Jumper more than any Arcade Fire song. I'm telling you right now, Third Eye Blind. More than the one that goes. Oh, yeah, I don't really love that song. Third Eye Blind pops off harder now than it did when it came out, and they were a super hit band back in the day. Hey. Hey, right. you don't got to tell me. I like Third Eye Blind, too, but I'm saying as far as Semisonic. societal norms. Third Eye Blind is a straight up pit now. It's a mm -hmm. pit now. Like those songs go so hard. People go crazy for that shit. Oh, I wish you would step back from that ledge. I let you did it on, on, on the mattress. That's when you're going to go in and th start and throwing some uh, Congo, yeah. Congo oh, Anderson toes. From uh, Can't Hardly Wait. That shit goes so freaking hard. that That's just window breaking. That's Kyle kick the fucking windows out music. Now, as a DJ... And someone who actually goes out, Blake, have you heard anybody throw that down like mid mod? Like people are playing like mid hits from now, hits from now, hits from now, and then they throw on when I because I know smells like Teen Spirit is like the new go to. Like, uh, no, nah, that one's weak. If you reach for that, you could get four other songs from that album that go way harder. No, no, but I'm saying if you want to like have a throwdown, are there ones sure. that throw down harder than when I graduate? Uh, well, you know, it's like the emo renaissance. So we talked about it, but it's like basically like. We started you know, it. Let's keep it real. <laughs> My Chemical Romance, all that shit goes like way hard if you start to drop that shit. Because I feel like Third Eye Blind, we were little when that shit came out. Mm -hmm. Like my we stepdad. Were, we were in eighth grade. He was Afrofetus. I know, but like My Chemical Romance came out a little later. Seventh grade, yeah. Yeah, my, my Chemical Romance came out. No, Black Parade. Black Parade is a true banger. That song yeah. is a great song. Okay. But what's the one that's like uh, closing the goddamn door? Like that one, fucking people go absolutely maniac. Who is that? Mm -hmm. uh, Fall Out Boy. Fall yeah, Out Boy. Fall Out Boy. That's not like Fall that's Fall. Boy. Yeah. Yeah, that's like a. That's, that's like not Fall Out Boy. It is. Yes, it is. Closing the goddamn door is not Fall, fall Out Boy. Mm hmm. It Odd. is. No, it's not. It is. Closing what the is goddamn it? door. No. No, 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 no. What is it? Who is it? Who is it? Uh, Panic at the Disco. Thank oh, you. Fuck. Oh, fuck. By the way, oh, oh, by the way oh, why right. do I know that? Um, but I, because you're, you're a right. liar and you like all this music. Well, they're from Chicago. Those guys are from Chicago. No, you try to play it off like you're some cool yeah. guy. I, I like I like some pa Panic at the Disco songs. I uh, Fall out, boy. Does anyone have any fall out, boys, they want to <laughs> talk uh, about? I would like to give flowers to Panic at the Disco. My bad. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were fall out, boy, for a second, and I was wrong, okay? Yeah. My pop punk knowledge is not where <laughs> it should be. I love it. And yeah, apologies to Fall Out Boy. Um, you guys have so many hits. We just lumped this one in with you. Um, well, it won't happen again. It will happen again. And I would like to give an apology to the National. I know my boys came at you really hard, but uh, Sean Clements, thank you so much for introducing them to me. I had a, a great tooth. You just, you were shitting on them too. I, I don't even. <laughs> no, I was. Dude, I liked it when it played in the room at Workaholics, and I think it fed some of our greatest episodes, so mm. I'll take that to the mm -hmm. bank. Okay. And shout out to Sean Clements. I just did uh, his podcast, Hollywood Handbook. If you want to get into this business out here in Hollywood, <laughs> it's a be sure and listen to Hollywood listen to Handbook. Listen to the handbook. It gives oh. you the uh, the ins and outs of the industry, the what's to do's and what not to do's. <laughs> Pretty, pretty hardcore. And I would like to give uh, uh, 
some condolences to our listeners for um, not for this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> no, for not uh, getting to hear. Again. Just take that again. I would like to give condolences to our listeners uh -huh. for having to listen to this podcast without Kyle. Because I know the Arugaloids are pissed that he's not here, that he couldn't get that seatbelt off. But Yeah. Uh, and you guys, yeah. the fans, you guys all went in on us about yelling at Kyle. Guess what? This is what it is. Hey, okay. sorry. Oh, hey, no. sorry this about is, it. This is bitch fork, okay? <laughs> that Sometimes shit's you get poked. Dude, ever since that episode, Kyle has been gone. It's hmm. three episodes now. Bye, bitch. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> and that's another episode of <laughs> This is, is Important. Important. Oh. See ya. <laughs> Neat, neat, neat.